What is happening, everybody? Dirty D's out here on the porch trying not to die of heat stroke today. Check it out before we get started on the video, and the video is going to trigger some folks. Man, oh man, don't hold it against me. I only hold up the mirror. I'm not responsible for the reflection, okay? Okay. Well, we're going to play a game called How Do You Identify? Before I do that, I want to invite each and every one of you to tonight's hashtag support NBC livecast right here on the channel at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We call them livecasts because it is a live recording of a podcast and those remain on the channel. I've got a playlist, in fact, that has all of the live casts that we've done and you will go back and see that they are all structured and they all pertain to creator content, creating content, being creative, and the ups and downs that we face in this thing that we do. All right, let's get into the video. We're gonna talk about race. We're gonna talk about gender. We're gonna talk about YouTube. We're going to talk about nationality. Oh my God, it's gonna get deep, guys, but I've challenged myself to challenge you. There may be a point in this video where you wanna turn it off and turn away, but the only reason that's gonna happen is because it's hitting a little too close to home, just like it did with me when I put it together. All right, guys, you ready to check it out? You've been warned, here we go. Let's play a little game called, How Do You Identify? This video could get me in trouble. It's about running Honda Pilot minivans off the road. No, I'm kidding. So we're gonna play a little game here. I'm gonna give you some scenarios and you determine how you identify with these or how these people are identifying themselves. All right, you'll get the hang of it. Here we go, first scenario, you've got two people who quit drinking alcohol 10 years ago. One introduces themselves and says, my name is Bob, I'm an alcoholic. I've been in remission for 10 years. Alcoholism is a disease and I'll struggle with it till the day I die, even if I never take another drop. All right, the other guy says, Hey, my name's Bob. Uh, I quit drinking alcohol about 10 years ago when I decided to add some things to my life and take some things out of my life. It's been great ever since and I never turned back. All right, one of them is identifying as a hero. One of them is identifying as a victim. I'll only tell you this, you can identify and you can be a victim or you can be a hero, but you can't be both, <laughs> okay? So how do you think these people are identifying? How do you identify? Oh, deep thoughts. Well, it's about to get a whole lot deeper. You came here, you clicked on this video because you thought I was gonna talk about gender and that's exactly what we're getting into right now. There ain't no clickbait, babies. We're doing it. So here we go, we're going deep, deep. All right. When it comes to gender, obviously you can identify however you want. L, B, C, A, C, D, C, whatever you call it. And by the way, guys, if you're a part of that, Please quit adding to the damn acronym. I'm getting confused. Just when I get the hang of it, you guys switch it up on me. I don't even know what it is these days. Like I tell you, I'm, I'm confused. Not about gender, about the acronym. Get it straight. And look, they can identify however they want. You've got the God-given right. I've got friends from A to Z all up and down that spectrum with love, honor, and respect. Do you, boo-boo. You know what I mean? But your right to identify ends where your expectation of me to identify you begins. Let me give you a real world scenario. Imagine I walk into a bank. I say, look, I identify as a millionaire and I'm here for a million dollar loan. They run the numbers, they run the credit, they run the taxes, they say yes or no. If they say no to my million dollar request, can I really come back to them and say, hey, wait a minute, I told you when I came in here that I identify as a millionaire. What the f is this guy doing? I told you I identify as a millionaire. If you're not giving me that loan, you're violating my rights. No, <laughs> I can't do that. Because the numbers speak for themselves. It is what it is. Reality is reality. You can live in reality or you can live in fantasy, but it's not up to other people to play along with that game with me, man. That's the stuff I make up in my own head. Shit. Everybody has their own world inside their own brain as we know. All right, let's move on to the next. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about you and YouTube. Do you identify as a YouTuber or do you identify as a filmmaker who posts on YouTube? Ooh, deep thoughts. <laughs> Some people would say, no, man, it's all semantics. It's not. I know people who identify themselves as filmmakers on YouTube and their videos have a striking difference to people who only see themselves as YouTubers. Again, I'm not going to make the call for you. You decide. We're going to play another round of how do you identify. Here's some of the characteristics. One of them 
when they watch movies and videos and other films they're looking at transitions they're looking at how stories are built they're looking at you know shot selection all of these amazing things the other one is looking at films and videos and movies and even YouTube and they're thinking "Ooh, what's the next hot latest trending thing that I could jump in on the bandwagon one of them's a youtuber one of them's a filmmaker I'll give you another example playing along with our game here's another example when you look at social media posts one of them usually has the camera pointed at themselves <laughs> they're showing you the most important thing in their world and so half of their posts are going to be camera facing them you see their smiley shining face and thank god they posted it because we forgot what they looked like from yesterday's post the other one <laughs> the other one is going to have that camera pointed out toward the rest of the world because they want to show you a glimpse of their life or their world right that's what's important is that they're sharing something with you and not something of themselves one of them's a youtuber one of them's a filmmaker you decide which is which all right next let's talk about race the race card here's what i would encourage and this is the serious conversation all right i would encourage each and every one of my fellow americans to quit hyphenating yourself quit calling yourselves hyphenated americans and i can speak on this because i've got the blood of about 15 different races coursing through my veins okay so i'm qualified to talk on the subject as probably most of us do uh, but look when you call yourself a mexican american african american italian american german american cuban american you're setting yourself up for issues man and look I, I told you it's gonna piss some people off know your history absolutely so that we never repeat it know how you were treated when you came to this country know how you treated other people when they came into this country you know always realize that our country was founded by slave owners who ironically wanted to be free let that sink in for a minute but don't don't hyphenate yourself because when you hyphenate yourself you're giving people an excuse to treat you as a second-class citizen America is a place right it's not a race oh my brothers Patriot Guard baby oh the patriot guard my friends man talking about i mean how crazy is that we're talking about nationalism and being american and we got the patriot guard coming by for those of you who don't know about the patriot guard they're a group of motorcycle riders who uh, escort the bodies of uh, past service members wow what a trip that we're talking about this and they pass right by us i want to say that you know we think about the people who died in el paso in the shooting and the murderer said that he was going out there to kill mexicans and you know what happened was he ended up murdering 22 people 13 of them by the way were americans but when we hyphenate ourselves guys all we're doing is we're, we're building a divide between us and other people never hyphenate yourself always consider yourself 100 percent american if you're from here or if you got your papers it doesn't matter if you were born somewhere else you, you got nationalized you are an american citizen so let's you know again focus on the things that bring us together not the things that pull us apart you got to quit thinking about people in terms of race quit thinking about people in terms of nationality quit thinking about people in terms of what they do in their spare time and just think about people as being people man all right guys that's my two cents i hope you guys have an incredible week love y'all appreciate y'all right safe if you want to and we'll see you out there in the streets baby